Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk with you about reasons why you should still consider law enforcement in 2024. I wanted to begin first with talking about and discussing how law enforcement is still a noble profession. You will be able to help people in ways that you could not do in any other kind of job or position. You can work with victims, you can put people in jail, you can take bad guys, you know, bad guys off the street. It's really an incredible thing to do, and if you have have the desire to do that, if you have the desire to make a difference in your community and in people's lives, you most certainly can do that. Not just for the community, helping making it a safer place to be, but also in those direct lives of victims. Also with law enforcement in 2024, there is a new wave of police officers. We are younger, we're from different generations, and we have different views, ideas, and aspects that we're considering when it comes to law enforcement. Another thing that we're seeing is that as these years continue, people who have that older mindset, not to say that those aren't valuable because they can be in some situations, but people who have different kinds of mentalities with law enforcement, especially the kind of angry bully kind of mentality, they slowly are leaving. So either they're retiring or dying. Everybody retires or dies at some point. It's going to happen. But what we're seeing is that more of these people are choosing to either retire out or leave law enforcement. So that is also very promising for the future of law enforcement because as these younger generations, people with different ideas who want to bring ideas to the table, do different things, try different things, these people are coming into police agencies or law enforcement agencies now and they're able to voice those opinions and hopefully at some point, as we see things are constantly changing with law enforcement anyway, um, hopefully at some point be able to make a change in wherever it is that they're policing or what they're doing, if it's needed. Some things don't need to be adjusted or changed, but there are definitely things that can be, or there may be a better way of doing something, and that's something that law enforcement culture in general will have to embrace as we move into the future. So when you look at the, the aspect of police culture, I think it's really important to understand that that is something that will constantly change and evolve, and most certainly will change and evolve as we have different kinds of people becoming police officers now. Also, the anti-police narrative and facade definitely will not last forever. There's no way that it can last. You already can look at examples of places where they have defunded the police and you'll see that crime is out of control. People are leaving these areas. They don't want to live there anymore. You need police presence in an area to keep and maintain order. And when you remove that, you see the problems that come with it. So you have more people committing crime, more people stealing, more people doing whatever they want. You have more people being victimized. People don't want to live in places like that. They don't want to be in those kinds of communities. It's also interesting to me when people make negative comments about law enforcement. If you really don't like police officers or you think that they're doing something wrong or you don't think they're doing something very well, then by all means, you can come and do it. You can come and be a police officer. And then all these different things that you see being done wrong or could be done better, you can do them right or better yourself. I think that would be perfect. Also for law enforcement, I think no matter what time you joined that your heart has to be in it. And I see, you know, just within police officers myself, I see that there are a lot of people there who do not have the right mentality or mindset and their heart is not truly in it for the right reason or reasons. But if you feel that you are somebody who does have the right reasons behind why you want to be a police officer or you can clearly identify them and what you want to do, I think that's a great signal or opportunity for you to become a police officer. I've also heard different police officers talk about having a community that is supportive of them and I definitely agree with that. And I was just thinking about some of the negative comments that are said about law enforcement and I remember 16 years ago, beginning as a police officer, there I mean, there were communities that said, you know, when we were out on calls, you know, F you, F the police. That hasn't changed in law enforcement so much as the exposure to those kinds of statements because of social media and the media. I think that has changed. But I remember as a police officer, there were always people who disliked police. And they are definitely not everybody that you encounter on the street. A lot of people are very good people. They are law abiding. And 
and they want the police there because they want to ensure that they have protection from people who would choose not to obey the law. I don't think anybody becomes a police officer because they want to have a lot of money or become wealthy. However, we do see now in law enforcement, agencies are getting much more competitive. So you are seeing higher salaries, you're seeing more benefits, you're seeing larger sign-on bonuses, there is definitely an opportunity to make a good amount of money, at least a good amount of money to live on being a police officer. Now, you do have to be selective with the agency that you choose to work for. I've seen starting salaries that are double in one agency than in another. So you definitely have to do your homework and look around at different agencies that you're interested in, but there's still an ability to make a living and have a retirement plan for yourself working in law enforcement. And now, especially when not as many people are interested in being police officers. The other thing I've learned over over the years is that no matter how many people you talk to or experiences you hear, you have to make this career your own. You have to make it something that you want to do every day. And a lot of it is learning how departments work, learning the system, learning how to be a police officer. But it really has to be something that you specifically want to do and really, really have that desire to do. You know, and I often think about if I were a young person looking at career fields again now, would I be as interested in law enforcement as I was when I came on but ultimately I think I would because I know that there are a lot of other really good people in policing who are doing the right thing who want to do the right thing and I just think it's a great career field there's so much that you can do and it can just be a really exciting adventure for you one other thing I look at and consider over my career is that it is so powerful and meaningful to be able to really make a difference in people's lives and for me this has usually been with victims but it's an amazing feeling it's an amazing thing to do and to have that be part of your job is absolutely incredible so I think a lot of that would go back to your why and you know why you want to do this but and even now I still think it's a profession worth getting into I think it's worth giving it a chance if you're even remotely interested in it because like many others you will probably go into it and find out that you love it that is all that I have for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other things that you really love about law enforcement or reasons why you want to be a police officer, leave that down in the comments below. As always, y'all stay safe out there and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. A profession work, work, it is work. <laughs>